Alright, so basically... Is it... You, you hold it like uh, you did in the... Last one, right? I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, we're in a Captain Falcon suit. Okay, so you... Basically the same way as the uh, other one, except you hold it up. So it's... Oh, excuse me. They expect you to use more, more, more of the uh, gamepad screen. But the thing is, though, that screen isn't very interesting. Also, you can see my face again. Hi. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, it's uh, more interesting just to look at the TV than the gamepad, really. And um, the uh, dang it. And sometimes, own some things are only viewable from the uh, TV, so it kind of ruins the point of looking at the gamepad to begin with, really. So, yeah, I mostly just stick to looking at the TV. It's just more interesting to look at. And you just move around and you hit the boost pads. You actually have, a, you also have a time limit, so you want to try and get to the next checkpoint before the, that runs out. Okay. Doing decent so far. This is like the closest we have to like a new F Zero game. And it's kinda sad, but like, I kinda want a actual new F Zero. Like I've never I don't own any of the games, but yeah, I I've uh, enjoyed what I've played from demos and stuff. I'd totally down for another game. Or a new game. So yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah. If you fall, you're dead for, for good. So it's kind of similar to an actual F-Zero game. I think that's how it works anyway. Alright. So we have one more to do. And that's the... Balloon trip one. This is decent. It's definitely one of my least favorites, though. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, <clears throat> what was it? Let's see her. Day one morning. No. <laughs> I don't care. Alright, so basically how this works is that... Wait, can I die? No, I can't. Wait, can I? Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> so basically, you slide in the direction on... Slide with your stylus in the direction you want to go. And it's best to look at the TV because like, on the gamepad it's a really tiny view of... Uh, it's a really tiny view, basically. And you can only, only see like what's around your character. Like, a sl small amount of what's around your character, really. So, I recommend just looking at the TV. Like the uh, F-Zero one, just look at the TV for this. It's much better. And take that. And he's going to get Eason. Cordio. Alright. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, it's a decently fun mini game, but it's not the best. Like, eh. Yay! I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. That getting the top of the goal gets you more points. So we're just gonna keep going until we die, basically. Nope. Oh, okay, that slows down time. Alright. Okay. Whee! <laughs> oh! Ah, come on. So you have two more hit, two hits, and then you get lose a life, I suppose. Alright. 
Whoa! Okay. <laughs> that was pretty close. Yay! No night time. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. I also noticed I got uh, some balloons back, or my balloon back, and now I lost it again. It's, it's too many spikes. Gosh. Cut me some slack. How many days are there even? Oh, it's the end. <laughs> uh, let's see how far I can move on. So I really don't think I'm going to make it too much and make it much further, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Right. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. I didn't even get on any of those that time. Ugh. <coughs> Alright, no, 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 no. I wasn't ready yet. That was a great start. And that was a great end. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we got decently far, I suppose. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's pretty measurable for the best score. For what the... Compared to the best score. Oh, 120. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're done, we're done with all the minigames now, but there's two things... I want to show you before we end. Um, basically, this, this is basically basically the hub world for the game. Uh, you can go around and see all these different things that you unlock. Which I'll show you how you unlock all this stuff in a little bit. But yeah, you have all the this little jukebox, which is which plays all the music from the game. So it's pretty cool. And you can also manually walk to every attraction this way. And you go to the Yoshi, Pikmin, Octopus Dance and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that though. It's you, because you can just uh, go to the menu select and do it really easily. But you basically, to activate these uh, little uh, question mark blocks, you just tap them with the touch screen. So, it's like a nice little feature. Anyways, though, we're going to tap the tower to go back to it. And if you touch the uh, monitor TV, you do a little extra mini game here. And this is how you get all those little um, items and stuff. Um, so it's actually a pretty nice extra. And my uh, friend Callum it is actually gets really addicted to it pretty quickly. It's a pretty fun extra or uh, extra bonus mini game to do so can also it can also be pretty tough at, at the same time though like it can really just kick you in the butt if you're not careful and dang it there we go yeah the more coins you can get the better because every time you drop uh, drop one, it's gone for good. So. 
right. All right, that was decent. <laughs> Down in that left one. Yes. I just, just get this one. Don't know. Don't really know how long I'm going to play this for. Maybe until I lose all my coins. Probably. But. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory, really. Don't need to really say much. Uh, those circle things, like, bounce your coin a little bit. And there's. Some. Sometimes you'll get, like, these skull things. And as you hit those, all the. Uh, the holes you went through will be reset, so try not to hit those. Alright. Okay. Just that, get that. Ah, come on. Just one thing. That was, I don't know why I put one there. Yes! Alright. Okay, yeah, those are the skull things I mentioned. Alright. Ugh. And just one more. Okay, Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Decent. Decent amount of prizes, I guess. Oh, this is just... What the heck? This is a huge step down from the last one. And it say that I say that and then it takes me forever to get that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There's not too much to say about this, it's purely you probably really have to concentrate hard though. If you wanna actually get good on this or get a lot of these. Cause I'm not on honestly not doing very well. I'm not doing terrible mind you, but still not very good. Oh, come on. Yes. Nice. Alright. Nice. There's a ton of these, by the way. I think they're all randomly generated. I could be wrong. I think that there's probably a set number of these. Because it can't give you prizes forever. But yeah, there's a either way there's a ton. Alright, so get that. And there we go. So maybe we can get one more. I highly doubt it, no seeing this. Alright, let's see what happens. Right, we, yeah, we can't, definitely can't get it now. Oh, okay. Well, we've got seven prizes. And they all get launched out. So let's see what they are. I kind of wish there was like a radar though for like, where, so you'd be able to like see where everything is, where everything went and all that. There's all that. Oh, the poo. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can find Mies around, and you click click on them, you can see their stats. So that's pretty cool. Oh, so there's like an actual number of prizes. Okay, so it's 200. I have 138. I have a long ways to go. Oh dear. Still, kind of getting there. Let's take all these.
all these music, all this music here, the jukebox, and wherever else the uh, other things are. Because like, sometimes the uh, some of the other stuff reset back to it being in the box. I don't know why that is, why that is really. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> But yeah, it gets pretty crowded after a while, because uh, you have so much stuff unlocked. Uh, but you can choose on the gamepad if you want to see like messages from me versus posts from other from uh, other users. So yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Also, you have these little buttons here that do different things like this. So that's pretty cool. And that changes the time of day. Kinda like the sunset. Wait, what does this do? Oh right, okay, that makes them go back into question mark blocks. That's like Yeah, uh, questions about the game. I don't know what this I don't know what this is though. So, yeah, if you know what that is, please tell me down in the comments, because I'd like to know. And that's just, like, random confetti, confetti, I guess. And for this... Wait, what's this? What is this one? Oh, no, we just... Oh, wait, we've already gone around the whole thing. Okay. Okay, but anyways, though, that's the Nintendo Land, so... Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, if you do move the gamepad like this, yeah, I'm controlling the ca the where the camera with the gamepad or whatever. That's how this, that's how the uh, this hub world works. So it's kind of a little bit awkward, but it's not anything too crazy. Um, either way, though, yeah, that's uh, Nintendo Land. You can also ride the attraction tour thing here. So yeah. Um, final thoughts, just to be quick and simple, I think this is a pretty good launch title for the Wii U. Like it, it um, showed shows off like a lot of Nintendo's franchises and in interesting and fun ways. And it's a pretty fun mini game collection. Um, that's pretty all there is to it. It's like it's nothing special. You can skip out on this game if you don't really care. Uh, for stuff like this because I, I showed off all the main stuff so if you like what you see then go ahead and uh, Give it a buy I suppose, but if you don't then hey So to totally fine uh, But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this rather This rather interesting weekend LP and I'll see you guys next time for the multiplayer stuff for this game So I'll see you guys whenever that will be <laughs> see you guys then post